here's a book I'd like to show you. It's uh, something I like to show people. Uh, it's called Groups by Georges Papi. Uh, it's got a lovely little, what's the opposite of embossed? Embossed. Anyway, little diagram here. It'll become apparent what that means in a bit. Um, bought this, oh, where did I buy it? I've, uh, maybe Westwood Books in Sedbra. Um, yeah, it's come from Exeter. It's due for return. Oh, well, we'll never know. Ah, uh, not taking it back. So it's a uh, it's a group theory book. Um, it's got a load of stuff in it. The a lot of notation. The re re relations are reflexive, transitive, so on, so on, so on. Um, but this book's a bit nuts. It's a bit crazy. Um, let's go back to the. Translated by Mary Warner. I should find out who she is. Now Hazel Perfect translated a group theory textbook. Maybe I could do a series on group theory textbooks translated by women. Hmm. Pick that out as the uh, common thing that they've got. Anyway, yeah. So this book, um, since the part played by the concept of a group as a fundamental element of basic mathematics is universally recognised, it is desirable that the elephant elements elephants. Elements of the theory of groups should be taught from the secondary school, not as a supplementary chapter, but indeed as a basic part of the structure of mathematics. Uh, scan down a bit. The, the author hopes that a great part of the material covered by this book will soon be integrated as a basic teaching in secondary schools. For the present, it is imperative to teach the ideas of group theory without further delay. I mean, hurry up, guys. That's crazy. Like, <laughs> look. You can't get secondary school students to do this, an ordered ring, or maybe those objects, but look at all the the way it's presented. That's the same page I had open before. There's something with monomorphisms as well somewhere. Um, it's a bit crazy. Yeah, I mean, how many kids are ready to deal with that? Um, I should really read more into George Pappy. He had this weird computer thing as well for even younger kids that um, it's like bit of cardboard and you, you move stuff about and that does computation. Um, weird. Anyway, this is why I bought this book. At the back there are these beautiful plates that look well, really abstract, really weird. Groups are abstract, I guess. I'm not sure these really help to illustrate anything though. Um, which subgroup of V with the addition operation is generated by the subset Q? Um, so this deals with, um, then normally they have references back to the text, but right, let's say vectors with addition generated by Q is a subset of vectors. So is that all the, the, the points on that line or, I don't know, all of them. Here's a subset of the vectors. Start with O, that one, uh, maybe that one, and you can add them all up. That's pretty cool. Aren't these pictures beautiful? They are just incredible. Beautiful colour plates. This one, what's that? Klein's four group. I haven't ever seen a, a picture of that as good as that. I want to get these put up in my wall. This one's insane. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> well, I've sat down before and worked it out, but who's that helping? That one might help someone a bit. There's the multiplication table and colours. It's a bit like Burns Euclid. Completely quixotic attempt to put something in visual terms. Um, yeah, so that's uh, George Puppy's groups. Um, 